This is Joshua Rhett Miller here to tell you about the latest allegations facing the convicted fraudster behind the fire festival, Billy McFarlane, a convicted felon that Mr. McFarlane met in prison is alleging that McFarlane has ripped him off of 650,000 plus after the fire fest fraudster formed pirate technologies, a company that was intended to create podcast, a treasure hunt, and ultimately the successor to his failed fire festival. At the time of the deal, McFarlane allegedly told Taylor that he had $6 million in cash and a $1 million book advance. That's according to the complaint. McFarlane in turn said he had a $2 million publishing deal to write about the 2017 debacle that led to a Netflix documentary and thousands of sob stories online. Taylor met McFarlane in prison in 2019 as they uh, both served a sentence. Taylor, who was released in 2020, then began working on some projects for Pirate Billy was later released in March 2022 after serving four years of his six-year sentence. At that time, McFarlane and a business associate allegedly began asking Taylor for cash and uh, raking up thousands of dollars of charges on Taylor's credit card for purchases that they claimed were business expenses, but they were actually personal expenses, Venmo transactions, credit card charges, crypto transfers, and in all, some $650,000 meant for business expenses that was used by McFarland for personal usage. That's according to the complaint. Taylor, through his attorney, told us that he had tried to settle the dispute with McFarland several times without success, and that's what drove him to file. McFarland's attorney, Harlan Protas, uh, based in Manhattan, a high-profile white love litigator, says that this is an entirely baseless lawsuit without merit and that Billy did not want to get into business with Mr. Taylor because he is a convicted, quote, child predator. Quote, we tried multiple times to repay John his money, but his lawyers went silent despite our repeated attempts at contacting them. Despite the lawsuit, we still remain open to a settlement. My colleague and I spoke to Taylor, and Taylor said that he thought that McFarlane was using the cash for business purposes. Quote, now I feel like a schmuck.